Hi there. When we're looking at the external environment, we need to have an awareness of the key features of legislation as they affect the labour market, employment by businesses. So let's just take a look at some of the key principles, the key laws that you need to be aware of. And I'll divide them up into those relating to individual employment, employees employed by a business, but then also more broadly, the, uh, the law as it relates to employer-employee relations or industrial relations. Well, let's start with a principle that is embedded in legislation, that of pay equality. And here the basic rule is simple. Men and women should be paid equally for work of equal value. And businesses that fail to achieve, fail to uh, adhere to that rule, uh, can be sued by employees. Well, that's not to say that there isn't a gender pay gap, of course, because there is in, in, a, in a developed economy like the UK, uh, unfortunately. Too many low-paid jobs are taken on by women, which means that overall women tend to get paid less than men. But hopefully not for work of equal value. It's a very uh, difficult area and one that's subject to a number of legal disputes at the minute. Here's another area where legislation affects pay. The payment of what's known as the national minimum wage, which applies to workers under the age of 25. And also now the national living wage, which is the minimum pay that workers aged 25 and over are entitled to by law. Now, the rate is subject to review and it's dependent on age and the circumstances of employment. But basically, businesses are now required to pay the minimum wage or the living wage, depending on which it applies to. And again, uh, if you fail to do that, then the business can be subject to uh, legal, legal action. And another key area is discrimination. From the business's point of view, they're not allowed to discriminate against employees on the basis of any of the ones listed, any of the features they're listed on the slide. For example, not allowed to discriminate based around race or age, sexual orientation, trade union membership or non-membership. And discrimination, the laws that apply to uh, relating to discrimination uh, uh, affect a wide range of human resource management activities. So it's not just recruitment, but it's the terms of the employee's contract once they have been employed by a business and then ongoing activities within the business, the training that's provided, so you can't discriminate as to who gets training, you can't discriminate as to who is promoted, who is transferred within the business, and similarly, who is dismissed by the business. It's a particularly complex area, but ones that businesses need to take lots of care over. And finally, just on employee uh, individual employment, legislation also gives employees a wide variety of rights something which they are entitled to be protected by, by law. For example, the right for an employee to have a written employee contract, the right to be given notice before they are dismissed, the right, interestingly, now to request flexible working as part of a flexible organisation. Lots of rights that employees are now protected by, by law. And I mentioned that we just spend a few seconds on industrial relations there is a separate video on employer-employee relations, which covers some of the same areas, maybe a slightly wider review of the importance of positive relations between employers and employees. But just to say that the law also looks at this area in some detail. For example, employees are given fairly significant protections from unfair dismissal and also uh, for uh, the uh, you might argue employers are also protected by laws that regulate when industrial action can be taken. For example, the need to hold a formal ballot before a strike is called. There we go then. You don't need to be an expert in all of this. You just need to have an awareness of the key features uh, of labour market legislation.